hey there Pisces. This is Joy with Joy the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe baby ring the bell. They will notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here at Joy of the World, give us that big thumbs up, like, and share. Share with your peeps, your friends, your family, your whoever, your whatever, your whenever. Because that will get the weight of that world off your shoulders. And they can tune in here and they can have their dreams and stuff dealt with here on this screen with me. And we'll help them level up, which will make your world that much easier. And then you can focus on your big, bright, bold, beautiful self, bringing forward your beautiful dreams, your impossible dreams, because wherever two agree on earth, it is done. That's what I'm looking forward to. So, strangely enough, this week does have a theme. And I'm like, whatever. This channel's just evolving and growing as we move through time because I had no particular purpose of coming forward except to afford you the opportunity to have a clear insight and perspective to resonate and to clarify what it is that you are going through to afford you that bit of insight that you can harness it into yourself and move forward in your dreams, okay? For the betterment of you, your enjoyment, your pleasure. So with all that being said, this week is hopes, dreams, fears, and the energy and decision around it. So I don't tell you what to decide. We're just taking a peek. We're looking on in there. So I'm going to lay this out, and we're going to see how it goes. I don't even know. Now, if you haven't already, tune into this week's Magic Monday, last week's, last year. I don't even know all this stuff. i got tons of videos down there for you to look at. As you know, we are the entire Zodiac. That's why they print out a chart, and it shows all of your houses and different things going on. So at any time, tune into the videos here and find out more about that facet of yourself. So this is you, Pisces, coming in here. Y'all, as yourself. Huh, look at four coins, okay? Oh no, I think I wanna lay this whole thing out before we talk too much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get your hopes going in up here. What is this? Lion Strider. This is the Lion Strider tarot going on. To give us the hopes of Pisces going on in their chart, we'll see what they got going on in here. Take us uh, through to get a better look. All right, it's something you just like swept up under the rug. You're like tossing on out there like hope. I've lost hope. I dismissed my hope. I tried to forget about my hope because that thing about wringing my neck, it about killed me. I don't know. I felt like I held on. I have waited forever. And you're like, I don't even want to look. And just so you know, we ain't looking right now because you tell me, don't look, Joy, don't look. And I'm like, okay, I'm not looking down. I'm looking everywhere around the room. Avert my eyes. Now, this is the mystical dream tarot. And so, of course, it's going to show up and be our dream. Okay, so let's get the dreams here for Pisces. You seem to want to talk a lot about that because you know how dreams come in. Hopes, baby. That's the link in the chain that's been missing. That is like the clasp. If you don't, if you haven't had the clasp to hook to the loop, how are you going to wear your necklace? How are you going to be your divine self? Okay, because some of you, your crown is right here. This is your chakra where it be showing up and look at all this stuff you got going on. You got two sides. You, you're divided. You're like standing against yourself. We're putting all that mess back in because we're just going to clear it up now that we know. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is that? All right. I don't know. They didn't say anything about double cards or not, so we're just going to let that be right there. Put them side by side. This one is under writing it a bit. Okay, and then we have our fears coming on in, and for that we're going to use the New Era Tarot. Somebody's already sitting here face up. Look at, well, not face down, face up. Who are you trying to face about yourself? That's some like father earth, daddy, like root, like tangible. How do I pay the bills? Um, I'll, I need a new car. That's kind of what you're talking about, having some real needs going on here. I've got to leave that car there because that was strange. It was already turned that way. And it's talking about making a change. So then, mm, you know, my love affair with a Mary L. And look at you, you already left it behind. So we're just going to leave that face down for a minute. You said, Joy, don't even shuffle. We told you what we want. So, Pisces, with this going on, we have the four of coins. They're okay. So you're, you're, you're already trying to progress. You're trying to... You try to let your cart push the horse. Why is your power, why is your power resistant? Why is there resistance on your power to moving forward and bringing yourself forward? 
being seen, being known, being like last week's theme, the suchy much. Some of you, it's the Six of Cups. This is sitting off in the shadows, you know. It had to be here because this card came out and he picked this deck. And it's like, look, I'm going to talk whether you like it or not. It's the Six of Cups being left in the dark, waiting by the lamppost in a desert. This is a whole abandoned town. Matter of fact, it's even like a set on a movie. It's not even real. It's not even real. It's like a figment of your imagination. And you've been fooling yourself. Like, remember the... the uh, the hopes that you were trying to dismiss, that's how you've been fooling yourself. And it's talking about this is 33 translucence, love the darkness, because you've been living in the dark. This card this week is talking about very much dealing with the underbelly. And I love it because it's a crow that's on all fours. So it is like a, a, a crow stallion. You got that going on up in here, okay? And this showed up in the Magic Monday read of this week, which was kicking off our week for us. And it said, I have to stick around. I put it back in the deck. I shuffled and it turned itself up. And I was like, what? Whatever. Okay, so that's some of the noise we got going on over here as we begin to take a look into this. So that's sort of why, why like you're digging your heels in and you're resistant to the change. Makes perfect sense. That's some of the fear being resistant to the change because you don't know what all it will bring. It's one thing if it brings stuff up in the mind, Pisces, because you're like Neptune, okay, I could sit here and daydream about it all along. I know how I like life to feel, and I just play some of that game in my head. I just dress it up and bring that energy in. I afford myself that comfort, that stability in my mind. This is body, baby. This is body. You're ready to taste all those dreams you're ready to bite into the pie okay not just a recipe you aren't going to eat the page out of that book it's time to uh, implore yourself to employ yourself to move to motivate yourself okay so that's why it's important that we get this hope here and we're going to take a look i'm ready to look i'm going to look now okay pisces let me see Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. I love the Ten of Cups and the Line Strider because this is the finishing touch. It's interesting that you had set it aside for so long, your divine self actually knew better. It was the final piece. You almost put it away for safekeeping, but you didn't think you were ever going to bring it back. You didn't think you could ever look at that again because it's so much shrouded in the pink, the high heart, the pink, the power, the power to be that dreamer, the idealist. And not like the one with expectations, that type of ideal of like, you know, very rigid, very demonstrative, very demanding, so much of that, a dominating type energy. Pardon me, my booty again, so this is about a drawing forth, a drawing in, and a drawing into yourself. So this is kind of like you telling yourself that the cart doesn't have to push anymore in the horse, but you do need the reins in your hand in order to drive and to lead the motivation for it, to, to have some connection and some guidance to go along with it. So with that, I hadn't planned on it, but let's let's get a little rune. The runes love to guide us here and being that they're the same color, baby. Let's get a rune for this Ten of Cups about the reins that you're wanting to take. And that means two hands off, two reins, because if you just have one, you're going to go in circles. Ad infinitum. Forever, ever. you go wear a hole down in the ground, down to the center of the earth, and you're like, I don't want to go back there. And I'm like, I know you don't. I know you don't interesting because it's reiterating that there's a standstill going on standstill okay and I love it because I call it I so I so scared I so angry I so uh, confused anyways y'all that's why you stand still you're feeling powerless gestation sacrifice of the eye of the self of your alignment Plans on hold, release, deep renewal and submit. Okay, so what is really illuminated here has to do with plans on hold because of some sacrifice. You've been having to give something up for a long time and that's why you thought this was dead and gone. Dead, gone and buried. You gave it up. You thought that's what was required of you. Your sacrifice, your hopes, because they were so um, childlike, like, like in this case, I honestly want the world to be full of joy. I honestly want your best bold bright dreams to come forward. I want you to leave comments down below. I'm really excited about offering each of us actually this opportunity of coming together. That's genuine. 
It does require a bit of a sacrifice some time, but hey, the exchange is fantastic. I sit on the other side of the lens and I listen back to these and gain the wisdom that I can't get when it's moving out of my mouth because if my mouth is open, my ears are closed. So you guys bring this energy into and through me and afford me the opportunity to sit where you sit, to come alongside to get the benefit and the joy of knowing what Pisces is about, because I, I'm a Pisces too, right? It's in my chart. It's my M and Coli, Coli. It is my North Star. It is my guiding light. Thank you, Pisces, for being my guiding light. I want you to know it's time for you to move on those plans. No more plans being on hold, and you put them on hold because you thought it wasn't going quite the way that you had imagined it, and therefore that, like, there's, you can see, even though it's a rain, but there's a frown being worn on your face because there is no color. There's nothing in it, and it had gone drab, dry, dull, lifeless like this. That's why those are the fears. It's kind of playing up this destroyed viewpoint, and you thought, oh, it's requiring more of me. I need to give more, you know, uh, especially if you come from a dogmatic, religious-type background. Um, you come from abuse or you come from poverty, those type of things. You think it requires more. And there's really being able to leverage, you know, the nose to the grindstone, the shoulder into the wheel, that type of thing, and thinking, okay, let me give myself up in order to mend this situation. I'm going to put my plans on hold because it's something that was out of balance, robbed, stolen, desolated in your life. You cast aside your beautiful hopes. But I'm thankful that your divine self, your spirit, whisked it right on back in. Look at these love birds. I love it because to me, this is the cup of love out of this entire deck, the Ten of Cups. Your cup being full, your cup running over, that no longer is it you having to dump it out and pour it out everywhere, and then you're thirsty, you're dry, you're barren, you know, your earth is depleted. That's what you've been talking about here. You're having to push your horse, man, your horse be dead, dead, dead. How do you move a dead horse? Oh my God, that's got to have been so hard for you, Pisces. But life has been weaving it together. That's what this serpent is here. That's life, the energy of life, the thing, the belly of life is coming forward for you as a defender and a protector to reawake and revitalize and restore you and your true essence and who you are. So this is the fleshing out, and I love that is the filling of your cups. Okay? It's the perfect ten. It's everything, nothing missing, nothing lost. It's the fullness of hope. Everlasting hope, baby. So now we're going to step into your dreams. And here we still had a bit of that energy, but I'm going to show them both to you. We had the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups showing up. Okay. So interesting, there was that division in a relationship. There was a power struggle. There was a power differential. There was someone having to bow down in order for someone else to feel important. And it was, it was like a game on the mind that after a while, you just had to become the game. It had to become your world, your mindset, because that's the only way you can make it and you could survive, is you had to disassociate from the truth of who you are, of knowing that if we live out of abundance and we live in happiness and we choose love, that actually heals the whole situation and causes life to move forward and to move on past whatever, whatever you know, challenge that was in the way. But in this case, it was something totally different. It was a breakdown, a stagnation that went on of seeing things from different points of view. And there wasn't a common connection in the communication. No matter how much spirit tried to help and divine, it was almost like the cry for help had to go out and lift up to the stars to bring an end to this, okay? Because y'all were stuck in the mud. You were frozen in the tundra. The cold heart club is what was going on around here. That ain't no culture club. The cold heart club. Mm -mm. Cement shoes when hell freezes over. All that. Mm -mm -mm. And let me tell you in a relationship, any kind, parent to child, a friend to friend, coworker, whatever it is, if one is hellbent, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what all the other one gives, throws away, sacrifices, bleeds out, you know, keep bleeding the love, that whole mentality. It will not right the situation. It will not establish kingdom order. Okay. So, and you're like, turn that face down, you're like, ah, and I'm like, I know. So that's let me know some of you are in this right now, not you've gone through this. For those of you who've gone through this, you're stuck more down in this energy is what you're telling me, and, and you've been praying for this to come back, so thank y'all for bringing this in, but there are those of you that are in this right now. And all you have is the power of permission of yourself. 
All right. The command of your own mind. The um, allowing to believe things are looking up, that even from the rain, new stuff can begin to grow. But you're, you're like, you're fishing without bait. And you're following orders. You're not living out of joy, okay? You're, um, it's a vain, fruitless, devoid, those type of energies going on. So I want to get a card on this. We're going to get a credit card. We're going to get a credit card. Because I want to, I want to just, I want to pour into that part of you, okay? That five of swords. Because to me, the swords has to do with reward. It's the ace. I know they talk about the mind. And there's so little talking about, talk, spoken about modern society of the power of reward. I mean, reward is necessary. Like, if I work and put my energy out, I need to eat, right? I need to reward myself, refresh myself, restore myself. Well, so this has to do with that reward of, like, if you're fishing without bait, you're spending all your time and your energy, and there is no gain, okay? It's fruitless. It's vain. It's vain because your mind didn't have understanding of anything any different. You're saying, look at the bottom. Seeds, stars, and showers. These new ideas are coming and rushing into your mind right now, into your heart, giving you a lot of clarity of things that you just didn't know. And that's what I say. Forgive yourself for whatever this was because you can't know until you know. And when you know, then it's time to go. It's time. if you Once you know better, you need to do better, okay? So you can take some meditation time, some quiet time, maybe in listening back to this time, maybe checking in some of your other signs, right, or the Monday or the Friday read, and allow your spirit and your soul to guide you. Okay, allow it to guide you and you'll begin to hear the resonance and the confirmation of what has already been going on in your life and speaking to you and it will begin to make sense. All right, it'll, it's knitting you together. That ten of cups, you'll be overflowing and they're saying believe. Because see, it didn't come in this way. It didn't talk about y'all genie, rub, rub you genie, you a genius. You're going to have a great idea all of a sudden how to solve this and it's going to get it going again. No, motivation is the moving factor here. And it's being able to pick the butt of your horse up, your power up, and begin to get moving irregardless. This butt, this waiting of thinking it's going to pay off and work out, that's not actually what it's about here. It's about you. It's about you empowering yourself to, to decide, to trust yourself, okay? So it says all things are possible, believe. Let's talk about believing the illumination, the power to move forward. Because what I find, and, and this is something you may need to hear here, this is not like a, a little titillation type of a promise. It's just a truth that comes about is often if we'll move forward and we begin to move on in our lives and we'll quit needling or, or like waiting on or intensifying prayers or moon magic or whatever else towards an energy like a watch pot won't boil, right? And you begin to move forward in what is working and the power of the permission of self and your cups being filled and the receiving Okay, that type of energy, it takes away from this deceiving type of energy. And when that begins to happen, this will can clear itself right up. Or else it, it closes itself out. Okay, so what we have going on down here in the fears region, and remember a fear is something that can be like, like the guidance, like um, the lines on the side of the road. They're there to let us know where it's ending, even though we can clearly see where it's ending, the lines are there as an extra reminder, okay? So here we have change, and this is throughout the seasons. It's talking about all four seasons, the whole self, irregardless of where you live and whether the temperature ever, ever changes. It's talking about the seasons of life. One full year. That's the thing, is, is there could be that this is a tethered card, like how your mind was starting out thinking this had to go, you couldn't have this. There's this tethered mind going, okay, oh my God, well, if all this over here happens to Joyce, oh my God, how my, how's my life going to look in here? Oh, frack, frack, fuckity fuck, what's going to happen? How am I going to do it? And you're already trying to see the whole big scope, the whole big picture. You're trying to make 365 into one, and it's not. The entire ocean is contained in one drop. The entire picture, the entire answer, the entire everything is contained in this one moment. So it has to do with, you know, um, picking your horse up by the rear, right? Helping your horse back up, getting it moving forward a step at a time. Just beginning to take in the energy of the motion, of the movement, of the forward progress. That is a, is, that is a sign of love to yourself. That is giving yourself permission to live. 
Like when you feed yourself, you're saying, I want to live. That's a huge act of courage. I mean, there were so many days I didn't want to eat anymore. I mean, when you have a lot of pain, you're not hungry. And I was like, why do I want to eat? My pain isn't getting better. And I'm like, I just, I just want to sleep a little bit more, but it's no like joy. Get up and eat. Feed yourself. It was an act of love. It was a rebellious act of love, declaring to myself that better days were ahead. And I didn't know. It's still going, you know, working on this brain injury and all the other, I don't know what. So we want, mm, mm, mm. I want that, I want that period on the end of the sins for that to close on out, move on out. But it, it, it begins today in the joy of this moment of embracing this, of relishing in our time together that we have here, of the fact that I'm even afforded this opportunity to be able to see, hear, and know, you know, and to connect and help um, offer the backup to you guys. You know, the reassurance, the the encouragement, and the motivation that you deserve reward, pleasure, comfort, self-satisfaction, those type of things that haven't been talked about a lot in the last 20 to 30 years. This, this self-help movement, self-developed movement, as if something was wrong when we should have had life support come in first and begin to support and bolster and nourish and restore ourselves. And then we begin to see that we flourish and that there's nothing wrong with us. And we begin to see what's working right, okay? So that's what it's about to be, is, is just allowing it to, through the seasons, a bit at a time. And before you know it, you're going to be here. Okay, Pisces. So with that, let's look at the energy, the action plan, the whatever we want to call it. They're just saying energy, the energy to move forward. This four of coins of getting uh, your money and your mind aligned, of getting your your um, your solar and your cosmic connected to your planetary here, bringing yourself into full scope where you can see yourself completely. All right. So, mm, baby. Mm. Mm. One of my favorites in Mary L. I love this deck, the seven of discs. You got it. Now use it. You got it. Now use it. You have been putting yourself off, love, because of whatever this hubba bub, double rubber tub, bubba, I don't even know. Pop that bubble. Whatever has been going on over here. You had it all along. You're amazing. And so there was this issue going on with you being that. And it was stymieing you and stagnating you. And I can't tell you it's even about the particular person. There's energy going on around you, maybe from generational curses or how you grew up or environmental or preconceived notions or planetary. It doesn't even matter. You just didn't know that, hey, it's okay. You fine. I'm like, why? Well, baby, step on in there. Move forward. Move forward in the power of the passion of who you are and watch the waters of the cosmos, the plasma come in and life begin to love you and fill your cup. You're like, I know where my source is, Joy. I know where the headwaters are because the headwaters are the pure waters, okay? Because in a river, like in America, we have the great Mississippi, right? And it comes all the way down. Well, the further down you go, the more polluted it is because people used to put the factories right on the water because that was free power of the water coming through. And they would, they would dump all the trash in it because it didn't impact them. They had fresh water coming at them and the nasty just flowed on down to everybody else. And as it flows, it concentrates even more and more and more. And so you're like, I'm through with that trashy thinking. I'm through with other people's crap and being cluttered because I don't need to either sort it, sift it, deal with it, taste it, smell it. I mean, clearing that fart out of the room. Sorry, y'all. Being, I don't know what's up with you people. Stop using my mouth for things like that. But all I got to say is you begin to follow the sun. The sun is your headwaters. Your, your sun sign of who you are, um, of knowing yourself of uh, completing yourself. No more competing. No more competing. No more allowing competing energies around you. Why? Because it'll look like this. It's just going to be a stalemate. It's going to be a stalemate because that's not even how you operate. It's not even how you think. It's not even a, a concept in your mind. You got it. You're amazing. Walk for it in your wonderful self and watch how life begins to undergird you and to bring in these loves, these powers of love, because this six of cups here has to do with like lost love, lost connections, lost opportunities, lost pieces of yourself. And here the pieces of the self are there. They're fully here. But regaining those opportunities, you do not go chase them down. You follow your son. 
Okay, follow the sun. There's a song about that on YouTube. Go find it, follow the sun. But you follow the sun and you end up at the headwaters where you can trust yourself because they're clean, pure, and protected. That's it, Pisces. Hey, to you, more power to you. Leave those comments down below. Tell me what's going on for you. Don't you know I love you? Check back in real soon, friend. Okay, bye.